Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to use intermittent fasting to boost your immune system, whether you have allergies, autoimmune conditions, you have inflammatory conditions in your gut, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, you need to do intermittent fasting because intermittent fasting stimulates the white blood cell. It activates macrophages, uh, neutrophils, monocytes, killer T cells. I mean, that's incredible. And check this out, 80% of your immune system is located in the gut. You have all these lymphatics in there and the food actually has to go through a little barrier so it gets the stamp of approval through immigration. So um, it's an important system to strengthen because if you're eating too frequently, you're constantly irritating and raising insulin, creating little holes in the intestine and then you lose your immune system because it's constantly under attack. So not eating strengthens the immune system. The next thing that intermittent fasting will do, it'll improve something called autophagy. I've talked about that in other videos, but autophagy is a condition whereby your cells are recycling damaged parts, but it also helps you clean up uh, infected cells, uh, viruses, yeast, mold, bacteria, and fungus out of the cell. So you're really strengthening the immune system with that alone. So allergies, gut inflammatory conditions, especially autoimmune, celiac, Crohn's, uh, you definitely need to do intermittent fasting. Even cancer. Did you realize that the cancer cell has 10 to 70 times more insulin receptors than a normal cell? Okay, so you're just basically dealing with lowering insulin when you're doing intermittent fasting. You're correcting insulin resistance. It's not just about losing weight, it's about improving your immune system. And also as you correct insulin resistance, you increase the absorption of nutrients, which also then enhance the immune system. So I highly recommend it, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.